According to the EPA, improper maintenance is the main reason best management practices fail. Filtera boxes are simple to maintain and routine maintenance can work wonders for the lifespan of a Filtera. The manufacturer projects that Filteras last 10 to 15 years, but with dedicated maintenance, the units can continue to improve water quality for much longer. Filteras require maintenance twice a year, but during the first year, brief inspections should be conducted each month to determine the most appropriate frequency and timing of maintenance cycles. It is generally best to perform maintenance after snow melts in the spring and after leaves fall in the autumn, but this may change based on seasonal weather in a Filtera's location. During short monthly inspections, a town employee can simply walk by the Filtera and check for signs of irregular drainage, sediment or trash accumulation, or damage to the vegetation. The unit should also be inspected after heavy rainstorms, when sediment or large debris can clog the drain. Filtera provides complementary maintenance for one year, and during that time, representatives are happy to train town employees or volunteers to conduct future maintenance on their own. Since maintenance is relatively quick and requires few tools, towns will likely find it most cost-effective for their Department of Public Works to conduct maintenance. Biannual maintenance focuses on the mulch layer and the tree. The mulch layer and its interconnected um, fibers are basically what's going to capture the bulk of your sediment and your other debris. You'll have soda cans and everything else that everybody throws on the street, um, collected on top of the mulch, and then intermixed with the mulch layer will be this, the sediment and the road grit, things of that nature. Once the protective grates are lifted, mulch is removed from the Filtera box with a shovel or with a hose attached to a vacuum truck. Garbage and sediment caught by the mulch are thereby also eliminated. If not removed routinely, sediment can eventually clog the engineered media at the base of the filtera, shortening its lifespan. A fresh layer of mulch is then added to the box and the grates are put back in place. The discarded mulch should be taken to a landfill as reusing or composting it can cause pollutants to leach into the soil. Next, the tree or shrub is inspected, and limbs that are dead, damaged, or extend into the road or sidewalk are trimmed. The maintenance crew can then pat themselves on the back since their job is done. That's all that's required to complete one cycle of maintenance. If a municipality suspects that its Filtera box is clogged, it can look for the following signs. There may be standing water on top of the mulch layer, or the mulch could be excessively wet days after the last rainfall. If water is flowing in the wrong direction, that is, out of the filtera, mulch may be spread out on the pavement in front of the drain. Maintenance workers can also check the clean-out pipes by removing the miniature manhole cover. If you look through the clean-out pipes, you know, if there's water um, standing in those, um, it may be a pipe that's clogged um, that should be able to be maintained um, with standard plumbing equipment if, if you do have a pipe clog. Plumbing equipment can normally be used to troubleshoot clogging issues, but a municipality is encouraged to call Filtera representatives if it continues to have difficulties. The company will readily offer guidance and suggestions to pinpoint the reason for any malfunction so your Filtera can continue to successfully mitigate stormwater pollution.